a shalom shalom before i get started i want to give all honor praise and glory to our beautiful power yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim rakak badash i want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone for teaching me the beautiful truth okay and being great leaders and examples for the nation of israel all right peace and you know, honors and you know, peace and blessings to uh you sincere uh <coughs> Akim, you know, that's preaching the word and truth, truth and sincerity also. Okay, likewise, you know, to speck a bird, brethren, too. You know, he may look at the other nations for his value, but indeed, your spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which indeed is made you an Israelite. Okay, you know, and peace and blessings, and shalom to the few sincere Aquaf out there, your sister, and that tune in and listen in silence. Okay, so this lesson that I want to do, you know. <laughs> I was trying to do this lesson for a minute, but, you know, say, say ain't been messing with it, you know, and our, you know, maybe the Lord just want me to do it again, and, you know, and Lord willing, this be, in, um, you know, even more edifying Lord's will. Okay, so, uh, you know, as the title says, uh, um, you know, I got it from, the, uh, you know, Jeremiah 2, verse 21, which I'm going to read, you know, how our people turned into degenerates, man, okay, and they ultimately, you know, our people are degenerates because you know they they love the uh, the feeling of um, instant gratification, pleasure, okay, lust, okay. They took on their ways, the ways of uh, Esau, ultimately, man, okay. You know, so that's why I want to get into. You know, so I got some uh, let uh, scriptures I got on my notes, and I got some scriptures I pinned on the uh, you know Google and Lord's will all line up, line up together, and it'd be edifying. So let's just jump straight into it. All right, so this is uh, Jeremiah 2 in verse, um, verse, uh, let me see where I'm going to start at. I'll start at verse 21. Jeremiah 2 in verse 21, and it reads, Yet I have planted thee a noble vine, holy a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine? And through the Spirit, I want to get that word noble. I forgot to, uh, should have got that with the highlights. Um, let me get it real quick. Oh, shoot, my phone tripping now. All right, let me just do this. Okay, so this is the word noble. Okay. Um, I'll just get this, you know, it's not uh, what I wanted exactly, but let me see. I'll just get this for one point. So this goes into noble, great, um, elevated, dignified, being above everything that can dishonor, reputation as a noble mind, noble courage, noble deeds of, of flair. Okay, yes, man, and that's what we supposed to be, you know? You know, but the, hey, Jake, you so-called Negroes, I tell you, Americans, you so-called, uh, it's like you so-called, I said it again, but, you know, you tries, man, you know, two-thirds ultimately, you're not that at all, okay? You're not that at all, and it shows with your actions, okay? And uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shai, is very displeased with that, okay? Because you're going backwards uh, uh, um, from him ultimately, man. If you're going backwards and fulfilling the flesh, you're, you're, uh, uh, um, you're going backwards from his ways, and you're being a harlot, which I'm going to explain in the next in the next verse. But let me let me continue. You know, let me continue. Jeremiah two and verse twenty one. Yeah, I have planted thee a noble vine, only a right seed. How then art thou turned into the degenerate plant of a strange vine unto me? Okay. In verse twenty, and it reads, and I kind of explained that already by following the ways of Esau, Edom, following the flesh. Okay, leaning on their own thoughts. All right, Jeremiah 2 and verse 20, for of old time I have broken thy yoke and burst thy bands, and thou saidest I would not transgress, when upon every high hill and, and under every green tree thou wanderest playing the harlot. Okay, yeah, man, being a damn degenerate. Okay, which I'm going to get. Okay, and the other, a few other words are, I'm going to get is going to back up my point even further, too. Okay, um... You know, we the one that messed up, man. You know, through the spirit, probably about your mouth shy. Um, I want to say we the ones that messed up. All right, so 
you know, because it says harlot, you know, for a point. What are Lord's woman? Okay, what are Lord's a woman? All right, uh, and, and um, you're supposed to stay loyal to your, your husband. Okay, just like if any brother have a woman, what do you want your woman to be loyal to you, listen to you, obey you? Okay, listen to your ways. Even if they don't understand your ways, they are uncomfortable or whatever, but you, don't you want them to listen to you? Okay, we all know the answer is yes. So we're the Lord's woman, and we're supposed to be listening to him in his ways and how to, and, and how to be, how to move. Okay, the Lord says, don't do this, don't do it. Okay, the Lord said, um, uh, what, what's some examples? No tattoos, don't get no tattoos. The Lord said, don't envy the, uh, don't envy the, um, the oppressor, don't envy the oppressor. Okay, uh, um, what's the scripture that perfectly, perfectly back me up what I'm trying to say? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of it. But, you know, keep it simple. Um, um, Jake, man, you know, these so-called niggas, Latinos, and Americans worship everything under the sun, but yeah, how about Shamal Shai? And that's what makes you a harlot, man. So let's get that word degenerate real quick. Let me get that word degenerate. Okay. I don't know why it's not letting me click on, it's not letting me click on, uh, the words all of a sudden. So just bear with me, brothers. You know, I'm. I, I did a new thing with my eye with the phone, you know, pinning it and, and stuff to try and make it in order, better order. Hopefully, it, it works. So bear with me, brothers. Cause all of a sudden, it's not even working. It's not letting me open it. The tab. The hell. Oh yeah, this is Satan. Oh, bear with me, brothers. You know, Salakia. No, Salakia. Damn. Yeah, I don't know why it's not opening all of a sudden. Let me try this. Okay, I don't know what I just did. Damn. Okay, I got it right here. It should should have clicked on it though. It's not letting me click on none of my my tabs that I uh <laughs> that I uh that I set up. Um, okay. It was working when I was, um, you no, know, before I did the lesson, when I was looking at everything, it was letting me click. Okay, it's bear with me, brothers. You know, Salakia, you know, having some uh, technical difficulties all of a sudden. Gotta be Satan, because Satan messed with this video a lot. So, Salakia, bear with me, please. You know, Lord's will, this works right here. It works now. Uh, let me see. Boom. Okay. The water you about your mouth shy. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so this is the word degenerate. Okay, so I'm gonna just get a few key words. You know, I'm gonna just read what it says, highlight it. It says the fall corrupted every aspect of human nature. Okay. And uh that's let me see. Having fallen from a desirable state, okay, and we in the eyesight yeah about your mouth shy, um <laughs> he's not gonna deal with the um undesirables, man. He only dealing with the uh, desirable. Okay, and it says desirable state, you know, what kind of state of mind you should have is, uh, you know, like King David, you know, a man's uh, after the Lord's heart, you know, to, uh, 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 really trying to be uh, uh, the best um, version of themselves for their Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, going back to us being, uh, you know, um, you know, being the loyal women that we should be because we are the Lord's woman. Okay, and, and, and uh, you know, I'll just leave it as that. Okay. You know, since it took, since, since it took so long to even get <laughs> degenerate, because you know, phone is tripping. So let's let's continue. Jeremiah two in verse, uh, I read verse nineteen. Thy own wickedness shall correct thee, and thy backsliding shall reprove thee. Know therefore and see that it is an evil thing and bitter that thou hast forsaken the Lord Yahweh thy God thy power, and that my fear is not in thee, saith the Lord of hosts. <clears throat> okay, yeah, man. In the beginning of knowledge and wisdom, you know, is the fear of Yahweh Shema Shai, and it shows that you so-called niggas, how deal name Americans are not very wise because you do you don't fear the Lord at all, and we know you don't fear the Lord by your actions. Okay, and the Lord be jacking you, you, you jakes up. Okay, like I'm gonna get you know with the scourges and amendments. Okay, and y'all still don't get right. Y'all still don't want to do better. 
Okay, we all know these stupid Negroes, Latino Day Americans, <laughs> they go to jail, you know, they pray to the Lord, you know, this is for example, oh, if you get me out of this, I will never do this or that. Okay, as soon as they get out, you know, they forget about the prayer, they throw it to the Lord, you know, they get back comfortable, you know, and uh, uh, doing the bullshit they, they was doing that got themselves in there in the, in the first place, man. Okay, and it's truth. You know, you're supposed to uh, forsake your evil ways. Okay, understand that uh, 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 you are the problem. You live in a wicked life. Okay, and do 180 from your wicked ways, man. Okay, and the Lord jacking you up is the Lord trying to correct you, man. Okay, and if you ain't trying to take the correction, that means you don't fear the Lord, and ultimately the Lord has to just do away with you. You know, you're a cor you're a corrupted you're 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 one of them corrupted files <laughs> in the nation of Israel that the Lord is gonna burn up. Okay, call Allah Yahweh Shema Shai one four four. Okay, so through the Spirit, let me get this uh, preset that I'm thinking of right now since I'm speaking about that. Scores is an amendment, so let's go to Second Ezra sixteen. Okay, let's hit these points. You know, let's hit these points. Let me uh. Through the spirit, let me see. I'll start at verse 19, 17. Second just 16. And verse uh what I say? Verse 17. Second just 16, verse 17. And it reads, What was me? What was me? Who had delivered me in those days? Okay, in the days that you know uh Ezra's is talking about is ultimately Jacob's trouble, man. And who's gonna deliver us? Our Lord and Savior Yahweh shot. Okay, the the even the uh the elect shall be scarcely saved, man. Okay, so hey, we're gonna be the missus midst of it, midst of this bullshit, destruction, chaos. Okay, but we're gonna be cool, calm, and collected, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, because hey, we fear Yahweh Shemal Shai. And we showed our fear uh, before uh, he brought the destruction through our actions. Okay, you know, Lord will, Lord's will, we endure to the end and we, we part that number. Okay, verse 18, the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear the beginning of evils what shall i do when these evils shall come and through the spirit since i'm since, since you know the scripture is speaking about that hey so much shit going on right now you know lord's will um you know i could speak about on another lesson you know um but hey so much stuff going on um there's a uh there's a <laughs> there's a chemical uh a factory that exploded in georgia okay which uh the smoke is uh contaminated now the air is contaminated out there and the uh, contaminated air from the chemicals is going towards atlanta okay um what's going on with uh um, florida tampa bay you know they trying to make a 15 minute city i already i kind of spoke about that on my other lesson uh hurricane Hel helene okay <laughs> what's going on out there we know why they're doing that kind of explained that too you know etc a, lo a lot more things too a lot Okay, but I'm saying those things to say this. This is just the beginning of sorrows. Okay, what's going out there in Israel and all that stuff? That's just the beginning of sorrows. Okay, <laughs> his bully leader getting deleted. This is all just the beginning, in a uh, um, yeah, beginning of sorrows, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a um, a snowball effect in the long run with all these things and a couple things that I named, man. You know, and uh, you gotta be ready when uh, you know, that type of energy really comes to your, to your face to you so-called niggas out Tuesday americans man i don't want to get right y'all about your mouth shot that's why i've been quoting and thinking about amos 5 and 18 so much you know what is the end to you if you ain't doing the right thing to y'all about for y'all about your mouth shot sake man okay because the day of the lord is nothing but darkness man okay and i just quoted that hey this the elect is going to be scarcely saved too okay so hey we're gonna um we're gonna need uh, the cash out on a spiritual, uh, <laughs> you know, this, our, our, our spiritual bank account. The only way you're going to have a spiritual bank account if you feared the Lord, Yah, by Shemal Shai, and did the right thing in the spirit. Okay? You know, if you can't cash out, you're going to be, you know, shit out of luck. You know? <laughs> you know, but anyways, you know, let's, let's continue. Verse 19. Uh, actually, verse, yeah, verse 19. Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. Okay? So let me get the scourges for amendment. Let me get scourges and amendment to back me up. Then we'll come back. Okay. Okay, so boom. So this is the word scourge. A whip used for inflicting pain or punishment. A lash used for torture. Okay, and the Lord does these things, put us through hell, put us in a... In a you know, in the ghettos, the barrios, all that stuff. All that shit is hell. All that shit, that's judgment. Okay? You know, with that being said, all right? 
uh, us being at the bottom, even though we're the best people on the planet Earth, but we're still on the bottom. Why are we at the bottom? Because we transgress against our power. Jake got a Jake can't put that together. You know, Jake wanna uh, like this little dumbass Jake at our, uh, you know, that came to our camp. I'll briefly speak on it real quick. Came to us somehow. Oh, uh, you know, are you guys Jehovah Witness? Me and the brother, and we and he know you know damn well we're not Jehovah Witness. Okay, but you know, long story short, <laughs> we told him that he was an Israelite. He quickly said, No, no, I'm I'm Jehovah Witness. Okay, you know, but with that being said, you know, uh, our people don't piece the, the the scriptures together to know who they are. Okay, we're going through what we're going through because we fucked up, and how and what and how do we uh, uh, bear it the correct way? You know, how do we cope with it the correct way? Okay, we um, you know, we fear Yahweh from our shy and and bear our cross and deal with whatever we have to deal with through the Spirit. Okay, and have faith in Yahweh from our shy that He will be with us. Okay, through whatever we go through, you know, even leading up to Jacob's trouble, even in our present lives right now. Okay, you know, eat the whole roll. Basically, I'm trying to say, man, you know. But anyways, though, you know, Jake, Jake is, uh, Jake is, um, inside his children, like the scriptures say, man. They have to learn death after death by pain. Okay, but you know, this is the word amendment. Okay, it said it goes into betterment, improvement of persons, correction, reformation. Okay, <laughs> you know, uh, alteration of a writ or bill to remove its faults. So the Lord is putting us through what we put him through for us to get our act together. You know, that's what at least, that's at least what it should do for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. You don't get tired of going through hell. And yes, when you come to truth, yes, you're going to catch hell. You're going to go through it. Okay, but what I mean by it, you know, you're going through your hell and going through what you're going through for your uh, for, uh, for wickedness sake, man. Okay, wouldn't you rather go through it for righteousness sake? I'll just say it like that, man. Okay, because regardless, you're going to go through hell, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans. Why not go through it for your Lord and Savior? Okay, and that's the mindset of, of a king. Okay, and, and, and the real man of the Lord that really fear the Lord and care about the Lord and love the Lord will want to go through it for, with their Lord and Savior anyways and with their people. Okay, which um, through the spirit, I'm thinking of a preset, so I'm going to get I'm gonna get a preset real quick. Okay, and then I'm going to come right back to Jeremiah too. All right. You know, we get, this is the spirit that we have to be, we, we, we have to be in. I'm not even going to say should, we have to be in. Okay. Uh... You know, bear with me, my phone low-key dark again. Um, I know it's not right. I'm just, uh, let me see. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think if I can think pop in my head right now. I know it's in Hebrews. I just can't think of where it's at. Yep, Hebrews 11 and verse 25. And it reads, Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of thy power, Yahabashim Shai, than to enjoy the pleasure of sin for a season. Yeah, man, so, you know, you should be in the spirit of going through what you got to go through for the nation, for, for, for your own salvation's sake, okay, and, and to please your Lord and Savior, Yahabashim Shai. Because with that being said, you know, our, uh, Abba Yahweh, you know, uh, may Yahweh Shai, uh, bear his cross and you know Yahweh Shai prayed to the Lord you know for him to take the cup from him and you know Abba Yahweh didn't say nothing so Yahweh Shai was like okay damn I gotta go through this okay so and he, what he do he kept the faith and kept praying to Abba Yahweh and Abba Yahweh kept him strong first Corinthians 10 and 13 one of my favorite scriptures man okay he he the Lord put him through something okay but he the Lord you know Yahweh understood it wouldn't break Yahweh Shai though man okay and that's the same faith that we have to have man Okay, so with that being said, um, man, I'm losing it, man. I was going to say something to back me up on that point I was just saying. Um, damn, you know, it's going to back me up perfectly. You know, oh, yeah, it pleased, it pleased Abba Yahweh to bruise him. It pleased the, our, our Lord and Savior. Okay, so whatever it please, whatever pleases the Lord, we have to just, hey, it might not feel good to us, but if it pleases the Lord, hey, we got to just pray to the Lord for us to, then, to endure it and, and, and keep pleasing him. Okay, and no, and, 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 and just yeah, just and just keep going. Okay, so no, I just you know I'll read verse twenty six. You know we got, we gotta have faith in this right here, and the reads esteeming the reproach of a Mashiach, 
greater riches than the treasures in Egypt. Woo! And this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, man. Sodom, we all know what that goes into. And Egypt goes into bondage. Okay? Whatever this place offers you. Cars, money, hoes, jewelry, nice shoes. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong to have nice shoes. Ain't nothing wrong to present yourself a, a certain way. Okay? Uh, well, I'll say it ain't nothing wrong you no know, grooming yourself. Okay? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that. Okay? Because we ain't no haters over here. But... Putting your cares and your in your heart and, 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 and all your energy for all those things, yeah, you're fucking up, okay? Because hey, the the, the real things that you should have your faith in is like you know, like it says in Hebrews uh, 11. I'll just jump up and read it. He, Esteeming the reproach of a Mashiach greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. Ooh, that's right. So Hebrews 11 and verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence things not seen. Okay, and yeah, man. Um, um, you know, we walk by uh, um, we walk not by sight but by faith, man. Okay, fuck everything that's in our face. We 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 focus on the spiritual things. Is the energy we coming in? Okay, and the energy you should be coming in. You know, when it comes down to hey, you and your power, man. All right. So let me go back to Jeremiah twenty one. Not Jeremiah 21, Jeremiah 2, verse 21. Let me see, did I finish that? Yeah, I finished that. So let's get to the, let's get uh, my next script. Proverbs 3 and verse 1. Lord willing, this lesson, this lesson is edifying. And I hit these points that I got. Proverbs 3 and verse 1. And it reads... My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments. That's right, man. You know, um, I'm going to continue. Verse 2, for length for length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Okay, that's why the scriptures say, um, uh, uh, you know, the flesh profited nothing. Okay. Uh, I just I, I forgot how it goes, but basically, hey, that that's the that's the the main key point I'm trying to say. Anyways, the flesh profit nothing, man. Okay, but the spirit is what brings life into you, man. The spirit is what you know uh, 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 um, gives you that uh, ins uh, uh, <laughs> you know that um, that unlimited life insurance. And what I mean by that, man, is protection. Okay, you're gonna be good. All right, you know I'll leave it like that. Uh, verse three: Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck, write them upon the, the tables of thy heart. Ooh, that's right, man. That's right. You know, um, man, there's a priest that I want to get, but the order I got on my freaking thing is hard to even. Let me see. No, so let me just go and do that. Let me just continue. You know, the spirit will guide me. Proverbs 3 and verse uh, 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy necks. Write them upon the tables of thy heart. And your heart goes into your mind. Okay, in the Hebrew word, word live, man. Okay, you're supposed to be uh, meditated on this day and night. Okay? You know, meditating is on day and night. And through this, now, okay, now I remember what I want. Okay? Um, Salaki, I wish I could see it, you know, visually. You know, and I know exactly what scripture I want. But, no. Um, I pinned it like this for a reason. Try to put it in order to the best of my ability. I don't think this is the one I want. It's not the one I want. Yep. Isaiah 34 and verse 16, you no? Know, and it reads, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord Yahweh and read. No one of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. From my mouth it had commanded and his spirit it had gathered them okay yeah you know all you need is a, a like a hey, listen to three of the world you know a thorough a thorough knowledge of the scriptures of the bible is better than a college degree with that being said <laughs> that's letting you know you know the real uh education the real uh, um way to be on a level any type of level you know ultimately a spiritual level that's all that matter of course obviously is these scriptures man okay and uh being obedient when you have about your mouth shy and listen to his men okay 
you know? So, you know, I wanted to get that real quick. You know, so I'm gonna just get a few to back me up because these are the scriptures I want anyways. Now I'm thinking about. Uh, so let me see. This is Jeremiah 6. And it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. That's right, man. This new way of living, this new life, this this weird old shit, is not, it's not it. Okay? It's not it's not for you, so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, man. Okay? You know, and anybody that think it's for you, you know, it's really just for you to turn into a freak, okay, and be further away from your power. Like the title goes into being a damn degenerate. Okay? You know, and that's why this this, this world needs a re, needs a refreshing man. And when they get refreshed, it's going back to the ancient ways, man, the right ways. Okay, ultimately the ways that you have by Shemal Shai, you know, order. Okay, upon the earth, where is no where where uh, 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 where in this side is no fucking order. Okay, that's why it's so chaotic. Okay, but anyways, though, um, let's continue. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said we will not walk therein. And that's you two-thirds degenerates, man. You don't want to walk in the ways of Yahweh Shema Shai because it's too hard. Okay? It's too hard for you to put off your flesh. Okay? But the scriptures plainly say, says, um, my ways are not grievous, man. The ways of the Lord is not grievous at all. It's your wicked-ass flesh. And you got to deny it, man. If you can't deny it, that means you a wicked individual and you like being wicked. Okay? And you're going to be judged with the wicked then. With, you're going to be judged with the wicked then. Okay. All right. Verse uh, 17. Also, I said, watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said we will not hearken. You know? Yeah. Have a trumpet have been have a trumpet been blown in the city and the people not be afraid. Okay. Have a trumpet been blown in the city and the Lord. Uh, uh, um, and, um, I forgot how it goes, but the Lord haven't uh, caused it. You know, the judgment have the judgment, you know, you know, been a. Uh, Basically, what I'm trying to say is, you no. Know, if something's going on, it's the Lord that's doing it, man. And we're trying to let you know, man, for you to, uh, you know, um, to avoid judgment, you know, description, you know, the spirit of description, which I'm going to get, which I'm, I should just read that now through the spirit now, since I'm thinking about that. Um, so now let's get that. Let's get, you know, let's get my next script. You know, it's going to back me up now since I thought of that. So let's just get my next script. Let's keep going. And I'll just go back to that point. I'll remember that. Uh, so where am I at? Proverbs 3 and 1. So this is uh, Proverbs 3 and verse 8. And it reads, I don't know why I got 8. Let's bear with me. Okay, kind. So I'm gonna continue. Let me continue. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. Okay, and I'm explaining that already. If you do that, if you lean to your own understanding, you're gonna ultimately uh, you're gonna be lead, uh, led to a ditch. Okay, and in a bed that you made for yourself, because the Lord, like I said, is giving you a fair warning through His men. Verse six: In all thy ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct thy paths. Yes, literally all thy ways. Okay, uncomfortable uh, uh, feelings. Okay, good feelings. Okay, whatever. You need to acknowledge your power. You how about your mouth shy and pray to him to guide you, no matter how you feel. Okay. Verse seven. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord. You how will and depart from evil. That's right. And when you depart from evil, yes, you do make yourself a prey. But hey, like the scriptures say, hey, if the world hated you, just know that it hated me first. Hey, so that's a good sign. All right. Verse uh, eight. It shall be help. Health to thy novel and moral to thy bones. Yes, if you bear your cross and eat the whole roll. Okay? And yes, you will have a reward at the end. At the end of that, if you uh, endure to the end, you have to believe. Verse 9. Honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of, the, uh, of, of all thy uh, increase. Let me read it again. Honor the Lord, Yahweh, with thy substance and with the first fruits of thy increase. Verse 10. So shall I burn. burn let me see. Okay, this one, I'll skip down to verse 21. Skip it down to verse 21, Proverbs 3 and verse 21. And it reads, My son, let not them depart from thy eyes. Keep sound wisdom and description. Ooh, 
keep my son let not them depart from thy eyes keep sound wisdom in the scripture and you got you got just flow in the spirit you know you gotta have faith in y'all about your shy he's gonna guide you the right way you know he gonna have you looking stupid just like what, how i'm doing this lesson you know this way i'm setting it up is kind of hard because i can't see exactly the scriptures you know it's kind of new to me but hey hey the lord's guiding me in the right way so now now let's go to that word description description okay this is the word description okay the ability to to behave and speak in a way that avoids causing offenses are revealing private information so the point is it says the ability to behave and speak in a way that avoids causing offenses and the only way you're going to stop offending yeah about your mouth shot if you do a, a 180 from your wicked ways okay and, and, and being the, and being the spirit of a broken and contrite spirit so i can i'm gonna say it better and being this being that being the uh, right uh, mindset of being uh in a broken and contrite spirit man because being in a broken and contrite spirit that's you sincerely sorrowful for your wicked ways and you sincerely sincerely being sorrow for your wicked ways you're going to change the way you live okay you're going to change certain things you're doing you're going to change your bad habits okay to please your lord and savior for you to feel uh, better about yourself okay and how do you do all these things you got to stay 10 toes down in these scriptures you know stay 10 toes down with your about your mouth shy and his men and follow the order okay and, and deny your flesh okay it's very simple it's just who you gonna feed more the flesh you're gonna feed the the, the wolf, wolf you're gonna feed more the flesh or the spirit okay man that's beautiful that's scripture whatever not whatever scripture but keep our minds focused you know but let me just flow the script with the uh spirit so let's uh continue okay and yeah, we gotta and we gotta pray to the Lord to retain that type of uh, mindset, you know, uh, the spirit of uh, this um, description, man. Okay, really, really being stoic, really, <laughs> you know, and, and just staying focused on the mission. You know, uh, they that have no vision perish it, man. But hey, who has the vision? Us, the hopefully elect, man. Okay, and we see that hey, it's nothing but uh, um, good things for us, man. But you know, until then, we have to go through whatever we have to go through to uh to get and receive that man okay and it's gonna feel so good and so great when we do get it lord's will because of what we go through you know and what we're gonna go through in the future okay but anyways though you know let's continue verse 22 proverbs 3 verse 22 so shall it be life unto thy soul and grace to thy neck okay if you do these things okay if you uh, move correctly Verse 23, then shall thy walk in thy way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. <laughs> I jumped the gun a little bit. That's basically what I said, man. You know, it's very, it's very simple in this truth. You just got to keep it simple yourself. Okay. Proverbs 3 and verse 26, for the Lord, Yahweh, shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. That's right, man. You got to have faith in Yahweh about your mouth shy. Even if you feel like you're surrounded. Uh, I'm going to say it like this Even if you feel like it's, uh, You in that What was me spirit You don't know what to do You know You, you know Whatever how, Whatever Whatever you know You know you go through You know You got to have that faith And, and, and be confident Y'all about your shot No matter what the feeling is Okay And the Lord will come through When, when you're in your lowest state Okay and, and bring you back up In due time Okay You know So I'll just leave it at, Like that With that right there So I'm going to skip down Verse 31 Proverbs 3 and verse 31 And it reads Envy not, envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Yeah, choose none of his ways, man, because his ways of living is a uh, corruption. Everything he touches, everything he promotes, okay, is is trying to take the life force out of you, Jake. Okay, trying to he's trying to pull you away further away from your power, Jake. Okay, you know, so choose none of his ways. Don't envy him because he's a wicked man. Okay, all that all that outward appearance and all that shit. The Lord don't care about that shit. Okay, the Lord cares about the inward man, your heart. Okay, you being spiritual ultimately, man. Okay, but no, I'll continue. Verse 32, for the forward is an abomination to the Lord, Yahweh, but his secret is with the righteous. That's right. That's why we understand the ways of the Lord. That's why, you know, um, we can speak the way we speak. Okay, because, hey, we, we really hate this place, man. Okay, we really uh, 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 fucking hate weakness, man. All right. Um. And me saying that, you know, the Lord can't dwell with a malicious soul, man. A lot of you jakes are malicious and evil, man. That's why the Lord can't deal with you. 
But let's get this word forward now. Since, you know, you know, so like it is less and longer than I expected. But, hey, what is this about? Edification. So this is the word forward, man. Okay. And it reads, I'll just get the highlighted word. In the Bible, it says a forward person is described as someone who is this, 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 this um, disciple, cr crooked or perverted. Okay. Yeah, man. You know. It, uh, I had a better definition. You know, I had a better definition. Okay, but let's get this word perverted to back me up a little bit more, because that's the spirit that you're gonna be in. Okay, uh, um, I'm choosing the ways that Esau eat them. Okay, unnatural. Okay, I can't find a definition, but hey, you know people are not dumb. You you guys should know what this know them them words mean. Verse 32, for the forward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. Verse 33, the curse of the Lord, Yahweh, is in the house of the wicked, but he blessed the habitation of the just. Verse 34, surely he scorned the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. That's right, man. That's right. That's right. So us believers, yeah, yeah, we go through what we go through. Okay, we bear our cross. It's okay. It's all good. You guys be laughing at us. But it's all right. The, your promotion is death, anguish, and you being laughed at at the end. Our promotion through the Spirit of Prayer Yabashim Al-Shad is salvation. And you know that wisdom of Solomon 5. You know, are, are, are you amongst the saints? Yes. You know, Lord's will, we part of that number. Okay, and what's a better ladder? What's a, uh, what's a better ending when I'm, with what I'm talking about right now, man? Okay. The victory of the righteous, okay? Because the triumph of the wicked is but for a moment, and that goes for you wicked two-thirds too, okay? <coughs> Salakia. So let's go to Baruch 4. You know, Baruch 4. It's all going to back me up. So Baruch 4 and verse 1. And it reads, This is the book of the commandments of God, thy power, and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. But such as leave it shall die. Yeah, man, having a Christian type of mindset, you gonna die. Okay, the the um the laws do away with. You know, you could do whatever you want, do as I will. Spirit, that's basically what they on. Uh, uh it's gonna get you killed, man. Cause you so called niggas, Latinos, and Americans is bound to the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Okay, you're bound to the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Yes, you know we understand we can't keep all 613 commandments, but you can keep the ones you can keep. You don't have to commit adultery. You don't have to be getting lineups. You don't have to be getting tattoos. You don't have to be a fucking nigga, man. Okay? You know? And if you lead the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shai, you want to choose the ways of Esau Edom, you're going to die with Esau Edom. Verse 2. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Yeah. You think a lot of Jake, you two-thirds two think, you no, know, because uh, illuminated just go into, a, you know, could go into light bearer, you know? And uh, Esau Edom is on the left-hand side. It is a light bearer. Okay? But hey, if you read 2nd Andrew 6, which I'm going to get real quick since I talk about that to back up my point. You know, we don't speak too much over here. We're going, we're going to back up with the scriptures. So 2nd Andrew 6 and verse 27. For evil shall be put out and the sea shall be quenched. And that's happening right now through the words and spirit of Yahweh Shemal Shai, which shows you that righteousness is always going to overcome and overflow wickedness. Okay. Verse 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which had been so long without fruit shall be declared. So through the Spirit, we see this is happening, okay? But when the Lord really starts showing it, you know, physically, okay? Man, you're you going to wish you you did the right thing for your how about your mouth shy, man, and got your house in order, okay? So let's continue. Verse 3, give not thy honor to another, nor the things that are profitable unto a deed to a strange nation. And that's what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans do. Going back to you being a damn degenerate, you give honor to everything under the sun, but to your power. You don't give no honor to your power. Like going back to that stupid Jehovah Witness little child. We told him, you're, you're an Israelite. No, I'm Jehovah Witness. We tell you people that you're kings, you're princesses, okay? You're holy, okay? You're supposed to be separate from these people, but no, you people want to be a... You know you want to be a damn nigga, okay? You don't believe that you're 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 uh, um, your gods, okay? And it shows by your actions, okay? Because a god, you know, a true king mind, king minded person or a, a, a prince like mind, woman, okay, won't operate in the ways of Babylon, okay? Okay, yes, the scriptures say use the world, but not abuse it, man. All right. So, anyways, though, for a simple person, you know. So let's let's get these not hurry up like that, but let's get these scriptures. 
because there's a few more I want to get. So boom. So I'm skipping down to verse six. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye move God, thy power to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. For ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to God. I already explained that. Ye have forget y'all ye have forgotten the everlasting God that brought you up, and ye have grieved Jerusalem that nourished you, man. That's why the scriptures go into um, you know, you receive benefits without knowing me. You know, the Lord, uh, you know, if you're in good health, who's doing it? The Lord. If you got money, who's doing it? The Lord. And Jake is just so proud and think they somebody. But ultimately, the Lord is one that's doing it. And you don't show your appreciation. You know, uh, that's why that's the other reason why the Lord going to fucking jack Jake up, too. They think they, they self-made and shit. OK, but that could be for something else. You know, I just want to throw that in there, though. OK. So let's go to uh, jump down to verse 28. So jumping down to verse root four, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from thy power, Yah Bashamal Shai, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Okay, we forgot we, we forgot our power. That's why scriptures say uh, in thy captivity that shall remember me. You know, they they they, they, they shall remember thyselves, man. And us remember ourselves, you know, we gotta seek the Lord ten times more and show the Lord that uh who we are. We gotta prove to him, like, yeah, I know who I am, and we gotta prove to him through our actions, man. And 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 uh and I already explained that, man. Okay, so I'll leave it like that with that. Verse 29, for he that have brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy with your salvation. So right there, letting you know all the shit we're going through, who's putting us through it? The Lord. So who's going to get us out of it? The Lord. But if you want to stay, you know, in a, in a council uh, uh, of the wicked, you're going you're gonna, to you know, you're going to get burnt up. Now, I'm going to just get my next script to back me up. You know, that's why I lined these scriptures up the way I lined them up. You know, because these scriptures will explain perfectly what us brethren would be thinking isaiah 31 and verse 1 woe to them that go down to egypt and woe goes into destruction and i already explained egypt egypt goes into uh bondage this is spiritually sodom and egypt okay babylon the great america confusion okay and bitterness you can't tell me that this is not exactly what america is woe to them that go down to egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and horsemen because they are very strong but they look not unto the holy one of israel Neither seek the Lord, Yahweh. Yeah, man. You know, and that's going into basically, you know, uh, they walking by uh, sight. They're not walking by uh, uh, faith like us uh, believers, Yahweh, Al Shai. You see their armies. Okay. You see the uh, the sea hip. Okay. You see all this stuff, this technology, basically, you know, these false miracles and you're being deceived with the oohs and eyes. Okay. And, and you don't believe in the spiritual power. Okay. Which is going to overflow and overcome and overshadow. The carnal power, okay, which the Lord gave to this wicked man in the first place too. Job 9 and verse 24. Isaiah 30 and verse 1. 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. That's why, you know, with that light on that dunghill to show you how to properly uh, um, be prosperous in this, in this truth, properly please the Lord. And for you not to add sin upon sin, okay? And the only way you're going to learn that, <laughs> the only way you're going to learn that, excuse me, is through the tr true men of the Lord, okay? And you obeying them and following their lead, okay? And, and, and you going with the flow, okay? But if you want to uh, 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 lean upon Esau, lean upon your own ways, you know, you're going to fail. You're going to just keep adding sin upon sin, which equal to iniquity, which iniquity equals to death. Verse 13, verse 2. Woe, um, Isaiah 30 and verse 2. That walk to go down to Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, you no know, modern day Pharaoh's Esau, to trust in the shadow of Egypt. No, just hey, just uh, um, be like I said, be obedient, pray to the Lord, use the weapon that the Lord gave you. Okay, but Esau doesn't. I mean, Jake doesn't do it. You know, they're not spiritual. Okay, and that's where y'all Jakes mess up at, man. Okay, being spiritual. Praying to God, whatever Jake's be thinking or saying, is corny, it's lame. Okay, but it's not gonna be lame in the future. You're gonna see. You're gonna see how lame it was, okay, uh, 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 in the future. You're gonna see how you're gonna we gonna you're gonna see. Isaiah 30 and verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. All this stuff that's going on that I, I kind of briefly talked about, you know, out there in Georgia, you know, uh, um, chemicals. Uh, 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 factories exploding and going to um, going going towards Atlanta now. You know a few other things going on. 
okay? That's all Esau Edom doing it, man, okay? All this is not coincidences and just, oh, it's just happening. Uh, um, it's just uh, Mother Nature. And of course, it's judgment from the Lord, but who's really causing all this destruction? Esau Edom. And you guys are still going to trust him and take his seat? You deserve what come to you, Jake. You damn degenerates. Okay. So Matthew 10 and verse 28, and it reads, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, man, fear the one that really got power. Okay? So that's very plain. Let me get my next group. Jake is very... <coughs> damn, salute. Jake is very stupid and simple, man. First Samuel 2 and verse 6, and it reads, The Lord kill it and make it alive. He bring it down to the grave and bring it up. The Lord, Yahweh, make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. That's right. So let me get a few right here that I have. And I'm going to close out with these. Okay. I was just scanning right through them. Okay. This is uh, Ecolascus, also known as Iraq 4 and verse 20. And it's talking about Sophia, man. Okay, yes, the, you know, roughly, I'll just, you know, roughly, um, you know, the, uh, say what's going on with this script, with this script, you know, the, uh, you know, when you come to this truth, it will try you by torments, you know, and you gotta go through it. But, you know, if you, uh, ten toes down for Yahweh Shemal Shai, and like everything I said in, the, in this lesson, you bury your cross and go through whatever you go through, no matter what you feel, you just trust in your power, okay? You know, uh, 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 you know, you're going to be good, man. You're going to have more wisdom and knowledge, okay? Which, that's why it's going to say wisdom and knowledge shall be our stability at time, man. Okay? So, I want to just throw that in there real quick. Ecolascus, also in Answer Act 4, verse 19. But if he go wrong, she, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. Yeah, man. If you can't deal with, you know, whatever you got to deal with as an individual in this truth, you, you're, you're going to be fed to your own ruin, okay? You know, you didn't, you didn't deserve the opportunity of salvation. The opportunity... To uh, 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 to be protected Okay I'm going to continue Verse 20 Observe the opportunity and beware of evil And be not ashamed with it concerning thy soul Okay Verse 21 You can't be ashamed of this word You can't be ashamed of Yahweh about your mouth shy Okay If you are You know the Lord is not going to uh, um, uh, What does it say if, uh, whoever, whoever doesn't um, exalt my name I can't really think how it goes You know uh, basically, if you deny the Lord, he's going to deny you, is what I'm trying to say. Okay? Ecclesiastes 4 and verse 21. For there is a shame that bringeth sin, and there is a shame which is which is glory and grace. Accept no person against thy soul, and let not the reference of any man cause thee to fall. The incredulity. Okay? Don't let these unbelief, unfaithful people move you. Okay? Just, and basically with that being said Ain't no excuse for you Jake man If someone's on some bullshit Talking shit Or whatever man You supposed to say Fuck him man It is what it is I'm gonna stand 10 songs down For what I believe in Okay and that's the That's the person That the Lord looking for So I just wanna throw that In there too Uh let me see I'll skip down to verse Uh 24 For by speech Wisdom shall be known And and learning by the word Of the tongue That's right But hey What does scripture say Uh fools hate knowledge Okay so you're considered a fool if you hate this wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Okay, I already got that one. Okay. Joshua 1 and verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And the only way you going to have good success if you deny the flesh. Okay, and you put on Yahweh Shai, you put on uh, the immortality, man, to take off the uh, the mortal, the mortal, man, you know, put off the flesh. Okay, and that's the only way you're going to prosperous, pro uh, be successful, man. Okay, and the success that I'm talking about is being successful in the spirit. You know, being successful fleshly don't mean shit. Verse 9, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord, thy power is with thee, whithersoever thy goest, man. Yeah, be not dismayed like these heathens, man. The heathens are dismayed, okay? You know, um, uh, um, be not dismayed at the signs like the heathens, is what I'm trying to say, man. Uh, uh, you know, the heathens are dismayed. You know, 
And other scriptures goes into, uh, you know, you can discern the skies, it's red, you can discern the weather, but you can't discern the times that we're living in. To you so-called niggas, Latino, they Americans. You should, you should be discerning the times that we're living in, man. Okay? You got that God gene, man, but you're too fucking uh, blinded by the, um, the ways of the heathen. Okay? You love the ways of the heathen. Okay? Um, so boom, got that. Got that. Cause he's going to back me up. Close to these. You know, Psalm 64 and verse 3. Who wet their tongues like a sword and bind their bows to shoot their arrows, even bitter words that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly. Do they shoot at him and fear not? That's right, man. And who is that? It's talking about you so-called Negroes, I see them in Americans, man. Yeah, uh, 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 um, this dude, uh, Trump be saying that he's with y'all, trying to act like he's with y'all, but no. Everything he's saying is, you know, is for your downfall, okay? This is exactly how they think. Let me just read this, because this backs me up exactly what I'm trying to say. You know, this is talking about Esau and his tongue, you know, smooth as butter, butter like scriptures say, but it's, uh, there's a uh, sword drawn, drawn in their hearts. Okay, they got bad intents for you. That they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an the evil matter. Why command of lying snares privately? They say, who shall see them? They, they search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, but the inward thought of every one of them in the heart is deep. That's right, man, you gotta understand your enemy. Jake, okay. And if you don't want to, if you can't understand your enemy, you're gonna get caught up then, okay. You're gonna get caught up, okay. Blessed is the man, Psalms one and verse one. Blessed is the man that walk, walk it not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sit it in the seat of the scornful, okay. But his delight is in the law of the Lord Yahweh, and his law that do it, he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whether what whatsoever he do it shall prosper. That's right. Going back to that word prosper. Okay. You know, you're gonna thirst and dehydrate and starve to death if you eat anything outside of Yahbashima Shai. But the scriptures say, if you eat of me, you should never thirst, you should never hunger. And I'm just gonna close out with this through the spirit. The ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind driveth away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The Lord, Yahweh, knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. That's right. That's right. That's right, man. You know? And, uh, you know, through the Spirit, you know, you know, you can read Romans 13, you know, and, uh, on your, your own, you know, I, I, believe, I believe the point is made, you know, I don't want to, you know, beat a dead horse. So with that being said, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to our beautiful power, Yahweh by Shem Al Shai by Shem Rakak Wadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching the beautiful truth. Okay, honors to you brothers, out there, brothers out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Okay, and uh, you know, likewise with the speckled brother and two, you may look at the other nations face value, but indeed your spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which indeed makes you an Israelite man. This is a spiritual thing, not a cut thing. At the end of the day. And uh, Shalom, peace and blessings to the few sister Aqua sister, you know that listens in silence. Okay, and being obedient. You know, may peace, peace and blessings fall upon your household. Hey, stay strong. Okay, and uh, hey, I'll say this. <clears throat> I used to say this, I'll say it again. Uh, wickedness is whack, man, and righteousness, where is that? Shalom, call me Ashrala. Shalom.